Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your June 2022 singles reading. If you are single and looking for new love, then this is the reading for you. If you are already in a romantic partnership, then I already have love readings posted for you guys. And there is a playlist there for love readings and also check out the playlist for your sign and you will find them all there. So let's get right into your reading and see what we've got coming out here for you, Scorpio. Uh, will be a lot of messages, messages that do come out, so not everything will resonate. Uh, take what does, leave the rest behind. And sometimes, of course, since we are looking ahead into the month ahead, um, sometimes you may not have something resonate with you until a little bit later. So let's have a look here. All right, and if you do enjoy my uh, readings here, please don't forget to hit like on this video, show my channel some love, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also leave a comment in the box down below as well. We've got virtue coming out here. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So you may have a spiritual connection that you're looking for, or you may actually find new love by helping other people. And uh, so sometimes we find love in the most interesting places. Self-love here, you realize that love is necessary or love of self, excuse me, is necessary to love another. Yes, it is. Um, home is where the heart is, right? Everything starts within you. And, you know, if you've ever um, come across people where, you know, they say to their significant other, or you complete me, or, you know, if, um, you know, uh, you know, you've, have friends or something that say, what is that? Um, uh, I'm not happy without you or things like that. And, you know, the only issue with that is that, you know, you have to love yourself first. You have to be comfortable with yourself first because other people in your life will enhance your experience, but, you know, and enhance your happiness. But they shouldn't be necessarily the main only sole reason for it because, you know, what happens when they leave, right? At least when you're good with yourself, you take care of yourself um, and you love yourself for all of your um, attributes, for all of your flaws, for everything. You embrace yourself as a whole. Man, oh man, oh man, that really does put you in a position of strength. And that way that anyone you do meet, you don't get into codependent habits or, uh, you know, any of those kind of lower vibe tendencies that we have in relationships, because this actually builds your confidence a little bit. And you know that even if your person isn't around, let's say your person goes on a business trip, right? And you're sitting at home alone, at least you still have yourself, you still have your own things to do. And it's not really that like codependent energy. So remember to take care of yourself first, okay? It is not selfish as much as we've been conditioned to believe that it is. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person has experience and value. Yes, they do. Even the connections that don't get off the ground, even if the connections that don't go anywhere, um, you know, it's really all part of the experience, right? And, you know, people are put in our path for a reason. Sometimes it's just to show us what we don't want, okay? Or give us a reminder of what we don't want to repeat again. So, uh, you know, so just remember that it all has value, whether it's something that we want to embrace or not, right? There's always a, a reason um, for everything. We've got compassion there as well. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and giving love. And love is the highest vibration of all. So we want to embrace that. That's what we want to put out into the universe. There is manifestation energy coming in here. Okay, and remember to be kind, be patient with yourself, the universe, but also send all of that love and that beautiful high vibe out there, uh, the positivity, the good feelings, the good vibes, and that is what you attract back into your world. So let's see what else we have here for you. The world. Okay, there we go. Um, wow, okay. Uh, we've got the Page of Swords. Oh, there's some curiosity there. The Nine of Cups. Wow, Scorpio. Check this out. 
Okay, we've got the world. You're ready to move forward. You're finished with your old cycle, your old your old things, your old endeavors. The page of swords. We're trying new things. We're meeting new people. We're communicating. We're putting ourselves out there a little bit. And the nine of cups. You are headed towards your uh towards your wish fulfillment. Okay, or towards something that you really want, or at least your at, at the very least, the nine of cups is emotional contentment and satisfaction and happiness. So feeling in like you're in a good place, right? Beautiful energy. Blessings headed your way. The page of coins. Mm, someone has an offer for you. Interesting. And we've got the king of wands here. That's your advice from spirit. The bottom of the deck, the fool. Yeah, you're ready. We've got the world card here in your past position. We've got the fool here underneath the bottom of the deck here, giving you some motivation, some inspiration, some influence. Okay, it's also showing you what is uh, may come in as a bit of a surprise. And it also does show that for some of you that there is new connections and new adventures awaiting for you that are available for you, but it may not happen necessarily in June. It may carry over into the next month because sometimes this is the energy that's coming in, but it's not quite here yet in your material world. Okay. But the world card here is an energy of completion. Closing the door on the past, doing all of your hard work, okay, uh, getting closure and feeling good, feeling successful, feeling like you've accomplished something, like you're in a good spot, end of an old cycle, and you're ready to start the new. You're ready for those new uh, connections, those new adventures. Um, and in the meantime, it's like, yep, I'm just really enjoying where I'm at right now because I am done. I'm ready to move forward. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders with that world energy. This can also represent, um, this can also represent that you are, um, what was I going to say? Ah, exploring your, how should we say, uh, shifting your perspective, looking at the big picture. Okay. And you may even have, uh, for at least somebody, there may be a long distance relationship somewhere there. Okay. Or somebody, uh, or somebody from another part of the world may be coming in for you. Okay. International, a mysterious international traveler, if you will. Okay. So, but it's a really great energy there. Now, of course, remember time and energy is fluid. So just because it's the past position, depending when you see this reading and what stage of development that you are at in your journey, this could be today, it could be yesterday, but it could be a couple of months ago now. So, um, and then when we get to the present moment, you may or may not be there quite yet, depending on how you're progressing forward. Okay. Because you do have the ability to speed things up or slow things things down based on your actions. But we've got the page of swords coming in for your present position here. So for one, as your energy, the page of swords is a very curious energy, willing to try new things, willing to meet new people, willing to learn more information. It's a very kind of open, uh, open energy here. Um, maybe even a little bit rebellious as well. Okay. Maybe doing something a little bit different and willing to, um, do something that maybe previously you had hesitated to do, okay? Um, the Page of Swords is all full of ideas, okay? You're ready to communicate, and uh, you may be feeling a little bit inspired as well. The Page of Swords is a wonderful energy. The pages are, but the pages are always filled with um, this excitement, curiosity, a sense of wonder about the world, okay? Um, but this also brings in the new also brings in news. So the pages quite often do bring in this new information or some uh, new energy to the mix. So you may be getting some new forms of communication. Maybe you're changing how you communicate or how you put yourself out there to find love, but there may be something incoming here for you as well. Um, Page of Swords is very much known as the lurker of the tarot, really only because it's um, tied to curiosity, but also tied to technology very often associated with Aquarius and Uranus. And that's that little bit of rebellion, but also technolo technology focused and futuristic focused as well. So, you know, there could be something on social media, perhaps you are putting yourself out there for online dating, things like that. Maybe you're trying a new site that other people haven't infected with bots yet. Um, and uh, that hasn't turned in f into one of those, you know, some, a some of these dating sites out there, they start out as, um, 
you know, warm, fuzzy connections and friends and all these things. And then the next thing, you know, a couple of years down the road, they turn up to a hookup site, right? And that's probably might not be what you're looking for. And so maybe there's a new, uh, new online dating, um, uh, app or something like that, that you may be trying. Okay. Um, and you know, again, something that's, you know, it's a little bit fresher, a little bit newer. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you're being a little bit innovative there as well. Okay. But, um, but you may have somebody that you have your eye on. Maybe you're, uh, kind of poking around on someone's Facebook or something. If you've got someone that, you know, you have your eye on. Okay. But someone may also have their eye on you. They curious about you. They might be stalking or not really stalking because that's creepy, um, lurking on your, you know, poking around your Facebook page or your Instagram or your social media or something, but they may reach out to you in one of those ways. Okay. Or it could just be that you have a fresh, fresh new communication with somebody, uh, that you meet, um, on the street or maybe even someone that you meet, uh, around workplace activities as well. Not necessarily someone that you work with, not with the page of, probably not with the page of coins, although it is possible. Maybe you have a new person starting in your, uh, starting in your place of business and you're like, hello, uh, this is awkward, but wow, I can't keep my eyes off you. Okay. You may have that going on. Um, but I think there, as far as a workplace scenario goes, I think it's something to do with the area around your workplace. So for example, if you stop and get coffee in the morning on your way to work, um, or if you go out for lunch, maybe you run into someone there, maybe someone's has seen you lining up for these things before and maybe, and they may all of a sudden just start talking to you one day. Um, you know, uh, any those things, you may have like a contractor or something come into your workplace, right? That may start a conversation. So, you know, the workplace scenario doesn't have to be, you know, uh, Joe sitting beside you or Mary sitting on the other side and, uh, you know, sparking up some sort of connection with the person who you work beside day to day, although it's not out of the realm of possibility either. So communication, um, in all forms is very prevalent in your present moment. But of course, if, like I said, we've got the nine of cups. So for some of you, there is something new coming in here that is leading you towards a sense of accomplishment, satisfaction, feeling as though your wishes and your dreams have come true. Okay. As a person, the nine of cups could possibly be somebody who has this wonderful jovial zest for life. They live every moment, every day to its fullest. They are full of, full of love, full of compassion, full of happiness, full of kindness and a sense of wonder. And that would be a wonderful, exciting kind of person to be around. But that can also be the energy that you embrace and that you send out to the universe. And you're not obsessing over anything. You're just living your best life with this nine of cups. And you're not worried about anything because you know that ultimately when the time is right, when the stars are aligned for you, the right person in the right place in the right timing will come into your physical world. And in the meantime, you're not going to let anything keep you down and you're just going to live your best life. So whichever one of those scenarios applies to you in this near future here, you're all in a good place and it's very, very wonderful. The page of cut, the page of coins is the blessings headed your way. Now you could be, um, the page of coins, uh, of course, all the pages bring in new, um, new uh, opportunities, new energy, new forms of communication, new people, um, but also new opportunities as well. The page of coins is bringing in some new information for you. So perhaps you're expanding your mind. Uh, perhaps there is something new in your workplace, something there that uh, has something to do with your love life. You could have a new employee starting in your workplace and it may not necessarily turn out to be um, a romance, but maybe they know somebody who would be a great match for you. Okay. Um, but the blessing for some of you is a new person. This is somebody who is very curious, who is um, willing to learn a lot of things about a lot of things in the universe. They're willing to learn about you. Uh, they're curious about you. Um, and they're very, uh, you know, they're very down to earth. The page of coins, the page, it's page of pentacles energy, very bookwormy, um, very bookwormy, has a quest for knowledge, a zest for life, but is very grounded and dependable as well, but has that inner childlike quality. Um, you know, isn't afraid to go out and have a little bit of fun. Okay. The page of coins typically is on their way on their journey or is part of the queen or the king of coins. 
So it's, you know, it's either them um, embracing that inner child with that zest for life, um, or this is somebody who is new to you, okay? Some, some, some sort of new offer or commitment, or this is, can be, in, uh, you know, a hi. Um, you know, I really dig your vibe. You want to go out for a coffee. You want to go out for dinner, okay? It can be someone offering you something. But it is very exciting there as well. But I think you got you got some you're maybe learning some sort of information about something as well. Maybe it's something to do with love. Maybe you're learning. Um, maybe you're learning about someone that you're researching on the internet. Okay, if you are the little internet lurker, uh, that could be. Hey, everyone needs to do a little bit of recon every once in a while. It's nothing wrong with that. And as long as you use your powers for good, not for evil. But your advice from spirit, get her, get her going, get going, have some fun, live your best life, okay? Embrace your passions, your goals, your dreams. If you have hobbies, you know, um, you know, embrace your hobbies. Now, it's interesting because the page of coins can be about learning and the king of wands can certainly be, um, you know, about your creativity, okay? Following your passions, your inspiration. So possibly for some of you here, your key to finding new love may be, um, it may involve your quest for knowledge, your ambitions, okay? Or your creative endeavors here as well. Do you have a hobby that maybe can involve other people? Do you, are you looking to take a class for something to expand your mind? Um, you know, something there may involve other people. The King of Wands can be very athletic. So perhaps there's something to do with sports or athletic activities or uh, exercise in some way. And that may be where you meet somebody. Okay. Um, because that is an energy of being active. So for one, um, you know, you may meet, you may meet a new person by engaging in the activities that you love. Okay, or something that expands your mind. You never know where you might meet somebody. Okay, um, but this is also really spirit saying, just embrace life. Take the lead. Take action where you need to. Okay, live your best life and trust and believe in yourself and have confidence that you will find the right person when at the time is right for you. But in the meantime, you need to get out a little bit. Okay, turn your do something to turn your vision into reality. Um, now the world card, as we said, there may be somebody, uh, a long distance person that you have in mind. Okay. Or maybe someone, uh, is maybe you meet someone when they're on vacation and then they go back to their, uh, to their home and now it's like, oh, okay, now we have this long distance thing going on. So you may have to, um, you know, you may have to find a balance in that, right? That can be a little bit difficult to juggle sometimes, but this can also be that maybe you have a um, an international person that comes in, right? Someone who's maybe just relocated um, into your city, right? Um, and that can be maybe you, uh, hey, maybe you meet this person and you offer to show them around your city. Hey, you never know. But whatever it is, take some action, take the lead, okay? Because there's some very passionate, very exciting connections that are out there for you. So, Let's get a couple more cards for each of those. We're just going to clarify and get some more information. So with the world, we've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You have taken a long time here, Scorpio, to take care of yourself, to heal, to make sure that you're in a good spot, to be open and ready to receive love. We've got freedom and we also have the Spirit of Pentacles coming in there. Ooh, that's actually really quite exciting. Uh, the, anyways, let's see what else we've got. Meditation and we have the six of wands. So the freedom energy with that page of swords is the death card. Okay. So that is change. And the spirit of pentacles is actually the knight of pentacles energy. So your blessings is the page of coins, which is the page of pentacles. And we have the knight taking action. So we also have the Queen of Swords and we have the Fool cards. We have two Fool cards coming out for you. So again, for some of you, that is something exciting right in the here and now. And for some of you, it is coming in um, with that advice from Spirit, Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles coming in there. So 
Like I said, with the world card here, you have taken your time. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, very nurturing energy, um, very calm energy, but also very open energy. Queen of Pentacles, it's really just about nurturing yourself, okay, making sure you're in a good spot. Um, it's also one of um, abundance feeling good, feeling grounded, feeling down to earth. The queen of cups here brings in a huge spiritual energy. Um, so perhaps you've been on a very spiritual path or you've just been learning a lot about yourself and nurturing yourself, nurturing your emotions, your spirit, your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, everything. Okay. You're getting yourself, you've been getting yourself ready with that queen of cups. You've been healing, you've been growing. Okay. And you've been very committed to that journey. And, but also the Queens are very open energy. So I think you've been really preparing yourself in the most positive of ways. And it may have taken a while with that queen of pentacles. Okay, but we do have the freedom energy, which is the death card there, and we also have the spirit of pentacles. So that is that knight of coins energy. So again, an offer, an opportunity. Um, so I think there's something coming in here for you that is actually very exciting. So whether the knight of pentacles is bringing you information, knowledge, opportunities, uh, invitations in, or whether you are putting yourself out there, this is bringing about something. This is bringing about some change with the um with the freedom energy and actually i lied it is not the death card it is actually the strength card they renamed these so i'm still getting used to them just a little bit uh so this is actually the strength card there that makes a little bit more sense so uh the strength card there is about being patient being courageous okay and but this still represents uh, something changing that knight of pentacles right something coming in that will change your way but with the freedom energy with that strength card you might need to face your fears okay or you might just need a little bit more patience because the pentacles is always very slow moving the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy okay if they went any slower they'd be going backwards but they are always successful they take their time the um, Knight of Pentacles takes their time to make sure that they are doing the right thing, that they are making the right choices and that they are committed to the right journey and they're not going to do anything any different. Um, they're not going to make, they're not going to make a mistake shall we say. Okay. But, uh, anyways, so very, uh, very lovely energy that is there. Okay. So bringing you in a little bit more patience and, uh, so whether it's a patient kind person coming in, I mean, it could be a Leo person, um, with that strength card there. Okay. But this can also be you embracing a little bit of patience and knowing what you want and taking the time to make sure that you get what you want and not compromising at all. All right. So we do have also, we've got meditation, that's the hanged man energy and the six of wands. So once again, the hanged man energy, yes, some of you might need to be a little bit patient. Okay, that's what that brings in. But also, I think you're seeing things from a higher perspective, from a different angle. The hanged man is where we take a step back and we see the big picture. We make plans for the future or we really think about the future and how what moves we can make with the six of wands to make our visions happen. Okay, that we can turn things into reality. The six of wands also brings in this overall feeling of success, of accomplishment, that I've overcome some obstacles and goals and that I have really moved forward. That six of wands, you may find yourself in the spotlight somewhere there. Okay, you might find somebody who is with that hanged man energy, you might find someone who is very patient, someone who is a big picture kind of thinker, someone who is maybe a deep thinker as well. Okay, but ultimately somebody who is very exciting with that. Okay, so whether that's your energy or the person coming in here, it is very exciting and it's you moving forward. Okay, so a little bit of forward movement, a little bit of patience, but also forward movement. 
okay? Your blessings headed your way, the Queen of Swords, and we also have Potential. And that is the Fool card coming out again. So new people, new uh, opportunities, uh, quest for adventure, excitement. You can possibly have some travel there um, with that Fool energy. But this is throwing caution to the wind a little bit and jumping in with both feet, taking the leap, taking the dive, putting yourself out there, um, meeting new people, Okay, the Queen of Swords, right? You're communicating with people. Um, you're maybe taking a logical approach at something, okay? Or you're willing to learn uh, some things, right? The Queen of Swords, a highly intelligent um, energy, okay? And, but also one of truth and honesty, okay? Communication um, in its best form. So you may have some new communication coming in, a new person. Uh, the Queen of Swords as a person would be somebody who is um has had their fair share of disappointment in regards to relationship they are someone who is very open but cautious at the same time okay and that whether that could be your energy open but cautious okay um but that can also be the person coming in someone who would be very smart someone who would be very logical um someone who would be really good at communication they would tell their truth and be honest, probably to the point of sometimes almost being a little bit blunt, but not necessarily in a bad way. I wouldn't want to annoy that Queen of Swords, though, and have that in the reverse, though. That would not be a friendly energy whatsoever, okay? Because the Queen of Swords can have a very swift tongue, all right? But um, certainly some communication there. Um, but the Queen of Swords is a very wise energy as well. So whoever is coming in there may be very wise, okay? But this can also just be you embracing the future and putting yourself out there, trying new things, meeting new people and all in a very positive way, right? The, you're trusting yourself, you're trusting the universe and you're just skipping, uh, skipping along in that full energy, um, with this zest for life. The Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles with that King of Wands there. We, yep. Your advice from spirit, figure out what it is you want. Okay. Um, be true to yourself. Okay, the Five of Swords quite often does represent conflict, internal conflict, external conflict sometimes, communication issues, okay, and, you know, so speak your truth, know what you want, okay, and don't let anyone else um, uh, derail you, okay, um, you may not want to compromise, okay, you may not want to um, accept something just because it's there. Okay, the five of swords is actually uh, an energy of victory, but also a double edged sword. So it's probably a little bit of caution or discernment may be needed in regards to communication. So it's a little bit of a heads up from spirit. Okay, just to make sure that when you do communicate that you're a little bit careful. Only because if you are doing like online dating or anything like that, don't share too much personal information or anything. I mean, if you've just met somebody online and, you know, maybe you chat with them for a day or something and, you know, all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, hey, I'll come and pick you up for dinner. What's your address? You know, just because it is online and, you know, there's a screen behind the person, um, not everything on the internet is what it seems, right? Illusions, okay? We don't want you to get scammed. We don't want you to have anything negative happen or anything like that. So just be a little bit cautious in um, in regards to those kind of things until you, until you uh, get a better sense of who someone really is face to face. Okay, um, because sometimes people do put on that mask on the internet. So just protect your personal information. Just always a little bit of a heads up there from spirit. And it's something that we don't always think about. Okay, it's not something that's usually at the forefront of our minds, especially if you're an honest person. Okay, when you're a really honest person, it's sometimes um, hard to believe that others would be dishonest with you. Okay. So just protect your personal information. Um, not that there's any like really warning cards here or anything like that, but the five of swords, uh, can certainly represent some sort of issues that do come from communication. Okay. So just, you know, meet someone in a public place, meet someone for a coffee. You know, there's, um, uh, I think it still exists. There's something called, I think it's, um, Google phone or 
something like that where you can actually get like a Google phone number and it will forward all of your calls to your actual cell phone number. So you're not actually giving your personal cell number away and you don't have to block people and all that kind of stuff later. So anyway, but the two of pentacles also is make sure that you find balance in your life. Have a little bit of fun. Okay. Don't let anything keep you down. Um, make sure that you are, um, you know, grounded and stable. Okay. And uh, that you do take a practical approach at things as well. But the two of pentacles is actually kind of a fun energy sometimes times, uh, you know, we're juggling, right? We're juggling. We've got a lot of potential. Okay. So you might have a lot of, uh, a lot of things to juggle. You may have a lot of potential suitors and remember that five of swords, speak your truth, be honest, and just be a little bit wary and not too overly trusting just to start out with, especially if you're meeting someone online, big online message there for you guys. All right. So let's get a few more messages here for you just to round out your reading. Last messages for Scorpio, please. And I'm going to get you three of these. Surrender worry. Mm -hmm. We all get there at some point. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Next one. Surrender your attachment to results. Go with the flow, people. The formula for success is to do all you can do to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And if you spent all this time getting yourself open, we don't want to create any more blocks. All right, so be open. And surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great June and I will see you guys later. Bye.